This video delves into the reasoning behind Paul Terra's decision to ride the Yamaha Tenere rather than the Yamaha LIZ. If you haven't heard of Paul Terra's before, he is a professional off-road rider and Yamaha ambassador with over 20 years of experience. Paul is well known for his extraordinary abilities and he has competed in off-road races all over the world, from the Erzberg Rodeo and the Red Bull Romaniacs to the Dakar Rally. When it comes to off-road motorcycles, the Yamaha is among the best sellers. It's the ideal motocross bike because it's light, quick, and nimble. Paul finds that the Yamaha Motocross 250 is really good bike for his riding needs. He is interested in adventure riding and hard enduro, long journeys over difficult terrain. Paul Tars wants to show the world that he can ride a heavy adventure bike in hard enduro terrain. It would certainly be easier for him with the motocross bike, which is much lighter and more manageable, but he wants to show his enduro skills and limits of man and machine. The Yamaha Tenere 700 is a new adventure motorcycle that was created specifically for adventure riding. It's a powerful, versatile, and comfortable adventure bike that's ideal for long-distance riding. One of the Tenere 700's distinguishing features is its lightweight and agile chassis, which makes it easy to handle and maneuver over rough terrain. Another noteworthy feature is the bike's large fuel tank, which provides a range of more than 300 kilometers, making it ideal for long-distance rides. The Tenere 700 also has a comfortable seat and a relaxed riding position, both of which are important for rider comfort during long days in the saddle. Anyway, what Polteres does is a skill and very few people in the world can do it. But it is a good example to show what this motorcycle is capable of, that it can be driven in the worst conditions you can imagine. Of course, this motorcycle is made for nicer terrain where the rider enjoys riding, but of course if you are an extreme rider, this motorcycle is just as much for you as for someone who just wants to enjoy it. But to get back to the point of this video, why does he ride an adventure bike in hard enduro competitions instead of a Yamaha Motocross 250? After making a few adjustments to the bike, such as decreasing the compression and putting back an 18-inch rim instead of a 19-inch rim, the Yamaha Motocross 250 is a better choice for hard enduro. We install a fan to circulate the air, and of course, we can't overlook the fact that we also put some additional weight on the flywheel. A traditional motocross motorcycle can be converted into an enduro motorcycle through the use of these modifications. Now I'm going to show you a video that I personally recorded at the Erzberg Rodeo, the hardest race in the world in hard enduro. When Paul Tars passes by with his adventure bike, it's a special feeling, because everyone drives a normal enduro bike and he goes with a Tenera 700. That's special. Terrace has already completed the Erzberg Rodeo and was in finish line a couple of times with his two-stroke light enduro motorcycle. But this year, he decided to perform with his heavy adventure bike. Imagine the advantage other drivers have when we compare them to him. He himself said that the chances of him finishing the Erzberg Rodeo with this bike are very small, but he wanted to show the whole world what he can do on an adventure bike and to which checkpoint he can reach. Imagine you are racing, and suddenly a motorcycle this big appears behind you and tells you to move to the side so that he can pass. It is not just a story and a thought, but it really happened at the Erzberg Rodeo. Come on! 
Uy, aquí hay gente, esto quiere decir que algo viene. ¡Hostias! ¡Vaya salvada! Imagine how physically fit you have to be to ride an adventure bike in such a difficult race. And not to mention enduro skills, you have to be one of the best enduro riders in the world to do this. Paul Terras deliberately rides the Tener 700 to show everyone what kind of motorcycle Yamaha is made and that it is capable, quality and competitive. For me, Paul Terras is the enduro king, do you agree with me? If you want Paul Terras to return to two-stroke lightweight motorcycle, comment on this video. If he goes back to two-stroke, I think that he would be in the top three at every hard enduro race. I sincerely wish him the best of luck in the races and I want to see his results. He has shown enough what he can do with an adventure bike. I think it is time for him to return to the results and show everyone that he is the king of the hard enduro. See how he just turns this motorcycle looks like a toy and not that it weighs over 150 kilograms. That's it for today's video on why Polteris chose the Yamaha Tenere 700 over the Yamaha Li Z 250. We hope you enjoyed learning about Paul's personal experience and reasoning behind his decision. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the Yamaha Tenere 700 and if you agree with Paul's choice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more motorcycle content and join the discussion by hitting the notification bell. Riding a motorcycle is a thrilling and freeing experience and choosing the right bike for you is a personal decision. Whether you prefer the power of a motocross bike or the adventure of a dual sport, the most important thing is to find the one that speaks to you and fits your riding style. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.